Hey y'all. Hey. Hello, Internet. Can y'all hear me? I got my AirPods in. Wait, am I doing this right? Y'all, y'all know I don't be, I don't really be fucking around with the Internet like that. Hello. Okay. I keep accepting. What's going on? Oh, Lord. Not, not B is blocked. <laughs> Boy, she was a rebel without a cause. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I keep hitting accept. There oh, hello there, sunshine. Hi. Girl, yeah, I tried to go a request, and it said, uh, due to multiple com community guideline violations, <laughs> you are blocked from going live. Damn, bro. I'm like, over here like, <laughs> no, <I'm> not <laughs> nah, it wasn't you, it was all me. Damn, bro, not you over there fucking up. Oh, can I cuss on here? Y'all know I like to cuss. It might uh, be a community. It might be a community guideline violation. You never know. Oh, not you over there fudging up the, uh, the Instagram <laughs> community guideline. I know, not you over there saying like a BET movie, girl. <laughs> not you fudging up. You fudging up. You is fudging up, fam. How y'all day been so far? So, I, well, let me start off saying, you know this. This is our episode this week. Mm -hmm. So we joining y'all live. Y'all get to join in, talk to us. And we're going to post this late for everybody who couldn't be on. Because, you know, yeah. real, real niggas should be happening, you know. Oh, yeah. And, you know, life was life in this week. So life we were unable life to record. Oh, already a question? Damn, why we got to boycott it? Because what he said about me. And I, y'all, I really, I really... Let me tell you something. Ice Spice is that girl. I really fuck with Ice Spice. I ain't gonna lie. She cool in like a homegirl type way. Why would I? Why, what would she say? Why would I lose why would if I already choose, chose? Why would I choose if I'm already chose? Like, oh, yeah. big vibes. <clears throat> I mean, okay. I mean, we're we gonna we plan on talking about it, but um, I'm not listening for Drake. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be completely honest. Y'all know I'm there. <laughs> so, did you listen to the whole album? Yes, several times. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I went ahead and I finished the entire album. Uh huh. Album low key jams, and I ain't gonna lie. Twenty one definitely slid. Twenty one slides every. We we gonna talk about it. We definitely gonna talk about it. But like, tw I'm just trying to put tell y'all about twenty one since way back. Twenty one is that nigga. Like twenty one is just. Uh, I I mean Drake was cool. You know they went well together, but. Um, yeah. Go over there, show shop. Yeah, twenty. Twenty one is just he not a nigga. He's just a nigga. But you know what? Honestly and truthfully, like twenty one brings out a different side of Drake. Like it ain't that ele that ele EDM music Drake that we. No, nah, it's, like, it's that savage savage mode Drake. It's, it's more like, <laughs> not fuck twenty one. What twenty one do? Oh yeah, no spin about you is definitely the vibe. Yeah, what did twenty one do? Why he why he fade? Is it is it because he's not American? <laughs> Cause you got a citizen, you have. Are you being xenophobic, B Heart? <laughs> no, that wasn't B Heart that said it. That was just Eldred. Oh, okay. You? Oh, he from Atlanta. Oh, he not from the part of Atlanta. He's from. Oh, cause he's from the uh, island. He's an island boy. Yeah, island boy. Oh, Drake upset. Drake definitely did. Yeah, Drake upset Meg, and then low key, like, yeah, I felt Meg. Like, can y'all leave me alone? Hell yeah, leave me the fuck alone. Wait, and like, if I got shot, I got shot. Like, leave me alone. Nigga be in Atlanta hosting peace rallies and then um, be But that's a lot of niggas, though. A lot of niggas. 
who was it? Who was it that um who was it recently that did some kind of like PSA telling everybody like put the guns down? Twenty one Savage. Oh, it sure was twenty one. God damn. <laughs> it was a- <laughs> Okay, but then what's the difference between 21 doing that and like T.I. getting up, doing a PSA, telling everybody to go Hey, Dan, he said fuck them too. 21, 21, 21. Um, I mean, yeah, we're we, we going to talk about it. We're going we gonna, to we gonna talk. I don't, I don't. <clears throat> How have we been so far, friend? <laughs> Girl, it's been, it's been a week. It's been a week. Yeah, we uh, yeah, it's been weekend, but luckily it hasn't been like as bad as the last couple of weeks have been. But <laughs> it's cool. You know what? We give thanks and praise. Okay, every day Hallelujah. above ground is a great day. Hallelujah! And the land of living. I promise. I promise. How's your week been? Slow, loud, banging. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been real. I've been busy, but you know, like you ever been feeling like you just like. I kind of like stagnant. Yeah. I feel like there's so much shit I should be doing, but I feel like I'm already doing a lot of shit. So I'm trying, it's like trying to balance like the need to want to do more. Cause I'm doing like six different things and like I have vision for like, well, I have a, I'm thinking about six other things. So it's just a lot. Have you written down these things and like put them in order from most important to least important? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's why your mind over there is spinning. Hell no. And and I have been unmedicated, so I'm just over here writing. I write down shit, and I work on this for 10 minutes, and then I go smoke and go do something else. And, like, you know, I'm just all over the place. But I'm I'm trying to get more focused, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. So it's, you know, one day we're all a work in human. progress. I'm only human, so. Yeah, we all a work in progress. Back. So we're going to do things a little differently this week. You know, we're only going to jump on here at Instagram, so give us an hour. And uh, we're going to do a couple of hear ye here. Well, shit. Uh, what the shit? That one. <laughs> Bruh, I, I, I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> and you still don't know what the fuck we record every Wednesday. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. All right, y'all. I'm finna go. <laughs> You know, it don't take much for me to get up off here anyway. Uh, <laughs> you already don't want to be out here. Let somebody say the wrong thing in the cup. Oh. <laughs> Sam already don't want to be here, so there ain't nothing to her. <laughs> I'm glad, look, it's it's really important to have a best friend that understands you. Facts. Because <laughs> who don't care is me. Look, the connection bad job. Who connects you? Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Okay, bam. I thought that would give me a little brighter. Um, yeah. You- <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a few topics. Hey, Evie. Hey. And then we're going to do a hear ye, hear ye or two. And then we're going to get the hell up off of here. We talking y'all. Y'all talk back. You yeah. feel me? A real live. We're going to figure out. People been asking us. Okay. People been asking for, for a live show. And I think it's it's about time, you know what I'm saying? I think I think it's about time we do a live show again. I mean, you know, I mean, well, I don't know, numbers are rising. I don't, I don't know. But I think it's about time <laughs> to kind of consider it again, goddamn, do a live show. We're going to do a live show and make everybody stand six feet apart. Hey, going to have to be outside. Not outside. <laughs> Let's get hey, to the camera outside. Hey. Hey. All right. All right. So, we'll go ahead and get started in this week with the shits. All right. I'm going to try to keep it as close to what we actually do on the pod. Um, But we're not going to do 100 rounds on this first topic. Somebody already said it, and 100 rounds is not what we need. Damn, I just thought about that. Wow. I wouldn't have even thought about that until shit the episode came out and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Thank God we don't use the gunshots or Dennis don't use the gunshots. We ain't had them. Cortez is the last one to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Big Damn, Woo, y'all. Man, okay. Uh, so, as someone already mentioned in the comments, definitely rest in peace to take off. Um, Monday, was that Monday night? 
I think it's a Monday or Tuesday. I don't yeah, know. Um, I think Halloween was Monday. So Halloween night, mm-hmm. uh, take off in Quavo. Now, y'all, I'm over here just doing this with no notes or nothing. Mm-hmm. So take off in Quavo. They were in Houston. They went to a private party that was at a bowling alley. Um, apparently, they were with Jay Prince Jr. And, you know, whenever a bunch of niggas get together, mm-hmm. niggas like to gamble. Mm-hmm. So, niggas like shit. Yeah, niggas like to do nigga shit, which includes gambling. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently uh, some little altercation broke out. You know, uh, there was also rumors that they were fighting about basketball. Mm -hmm. And long story short, we still don't know all the details, but gunfire let loose and takeoff was actually hit with a stray bullet that Mm -hmm. ended up taking his life. Bruh. When I saw it, I'm like, no fucking way. Girl, I said the same shit. I was just no like, No fucking way. Not the not the Migo who don't bother nobody. Girl, girl. I was just like the, the quietest one in the room, child. The one who don't the the most unproblematic, who ain't never been in shit, who ain't never been involved in shit. He just he really only involved in shit because he be with Takeoff and Quavo. You know what I'm saying? He be involved in that shit and he got they backs. But just like hearing that, bro, I don't know. I just felt like I was just so sad after hearing that. Girl, same. When I woke up Tuesday morning, I was like, bro, like, am I am I reading this correctly? Mm-hmm. How? And then I was, I didn't realize how young he was. Like, I didn't either. I didn't know he was under 30. Me either. 28, fam? 28. I started thinking, I was like, fuck, how long ago was Versace? Shit, 10 years ago, wasn't it? Girl, I looked it up, of course, 2013. I was like, bruh, do you mean tell me this nigga has been doing this since 19? That's crazy. And it don't, like, it's like Migos been in the game for a long, well, they have, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. continuously make music and stuff like that. So they, they like, kind of low-key like OGs, too. They've been in it, shit, 10 years. Yeah. And I know uh, we ain't talking about Drake, but I was listening to the album and he said something like about Quavo. Well, no, he said like, well, like, well, y'all something like when the Migos sent me for Sasha, and I was like, dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Like hearing that and them coming up and stuff like that, and just like I don't know, it was just it was just so sad to like see that. And then of course, you know, people are really insensitive. Oh, yeah. the video. The video and the pictures and, and stuff TMZ like posting it. TMZ posting it and then like, you know what I'm saying? Um, supposedly you could hear Offset or no, uh, Quavo mm-hmm. say something in the background. There's been what Jay Prince walking past talking about don't say <laughs> shit to me or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But I'm just like, golly, like and that's why, and, and I'm like, this is why people see stuff and like don't flinch when they like it'd be like, oh. And you know, I've been saying this. We are so desensitized to this shit. Like, I don't understand the thought process that you witness something like that and your first mindset is to report it. I don't understand that. Me either. And like, I don't know. I've I've been saying this too. I don't know what the hell's been going on with me that makes me very sensitive. But, like, I see stuff like that, and I start crying, like, or I don't want to watch it. Like, I've become very, very sensitive. And maybe maybe it's from being, because I used to be one of the ones, I'm not going to pull out my phone, but I'd be one of the ones, I'm going to look now. Being like, nosy. <laughs> I'm going to drive slow if I'm on a highway. I'm going to, if it's a crime scene, I'm going to pull over. Like, I'm one of the ones. Damn. I'm, 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 I'm a little nosy. I'm a, I'm a lot yeah, nosy. Not me. I see it. I be. Prayers, prayers for them. Hope they are all right. Yeah, I want to see what's going. I can't look at shit like that. I don't ever want to get to a point where I can. I I can I can, but like I definitely feel the emotion behind it. I used to like could see stuff like that and not really feel anything. I just be like, damn, because I was I guess I detached myself from it. But like thinking like that, you know, this is I didn't know he had a daughter. Oh, he has a daughter. I read that he didn't have no kids. Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> I read he didn't have no kids and he okay. wasn't married. Oh well, I knew he. Okay, cool. I saw a picture of a little girl. Maybe it was his niece or something. But like he looked really young, holding her, and he grew up. And they were like, "This is who I feel sorry for." So maybe I had that all the way wrong. Bro, that might be just the internet, fam. That might just be the internet be just saying shit. You're right. 
You absolutely like, yeah, real nosy. I'm very nosy. I look, I'm very nosy. I want to find out some shit now, but not enough to record it, not enough to post it, not enough to put Girl, it on even social the media. videos. Whenever the gunshots let out, I watch it. I was like, damn, there is not enough running going on for me. Not enough what? Not enough running. I mean, that's true. I mean, didn't they say it was like an accident that it went off or something like that? Well, I mean, now the rumor, they're starting to say that, like, uh, I read the dude is Quavo's brother. That's what I've heard. And then I, then I heard stuff from Jay. It was Jay, somebody from Jay Prince camp. And, you know, I don't, way. I don't know. Either I don't way, keep playing like, mob ties. But I'm like, all right, now they're going to do a Rico soup in Houston pretty soon, goddamn girl, it. Girl, I'm telling you. Did you see um, Charleston White where he was like, that mob tie shit don't exist in Dallas? It don't exist. Yeah, and it's true. It don't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean that's a Houston thing. So yeah, I don't. It's a Houston thing. It's not a Dallas thing. I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure there are some that claim it or whatever, but that ain't nothing like we ever just like. Yeah, that's that's not us. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Hey, Simone. I, I mean, think I, I think know, Drake, Drake got niggas thinking Houston is Dallas. Yeah, and we're or like close, we thinking Houston and Dallas like is like this close. Yeah, no, we're close, but we ain't close enough. Like, it's still, you still got to drive, and you might need gas on the way there. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell yeah, you might, yeah. If you go with half a tank, you want to stop, definitely. Big fact. And but I don't book. know. Like, fam, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, what bothers me the most, and you know, I have been saying this for the longest. Mm -hmm. At this rate, we are not going to have no old black men. Yep. We're not going to have them. It's yep. going to be a bunch of old black women with children. And black men deserve to see their grandkids. Mm -hmm. They deserve to see their grandkids' kids. Like, black men deserve to see that just as much as we do. Mm -hmm. And I'm sick of niggas because it's a lot of niggas out there with a whole bunch of ego and no aim. That part. Niggas be owning guns. And don't know how to shoot. For one, you don't know how to shoot. For two, you don't respect the gun. Mm-hmm. As if you're not holding something that can literally kill somebody. Yeah. Like, this shit, this, I don't know if niggas just be, like, desensitized, because that shit's not, uh, it's not, well, it's not Call of Duty. Hello? Like, you don't come back, and, like, I had to learn, I, this, and this, oh, I stopped carrying my gun for a long time, because, like, you ain't supposed to put that bitch out unless you really gonna use it. Uh, girl, my grandfather used to always tell us that. Like, and you, too many you, niggas you just wanna pull, pull it. it out, just, just so everybody know they got it, but like they treat it like it's like an accessory, like it's a piece of jewelry. And then they That's shoot somebody shoot their own damn self. Cause Charles White was in a goddamn club and he shot himself. Like I'm, I don't know. It's it's really sad, but you're absolutely right. Like at the, at the rate, if it's between police, heart disease, and and other niggas, like Hello? we are going to have no black men left, girl. No and old, black no men, old black men left. And we know when I say that, I'm not referring to everybody. But what I'm saying is, it's like this shit is at an alarming rate at this point. P and B Rock was what a month ago. Yeah, murder. And it, and that's like, and I saw something like, why aren't the rock stars uh doing this shit? Well, you know, theirs is uh, um, what's it called? Pills and shit. Yeah. But we, I mean, we got that too. What's Girl. It, uh, like we got like. It's just, I don't know. Guns, drugs. <laughs> Fam, I'm telling you. And then even after PNB, we had a local rapper here in Dallas that died. What was his name? BFG Strap or some shit like that? Some, don't and me his, he was from Fort Worth. His video was going all over the internet. Somebody sent it to me and I fucking saw it. Really? Yes, and it scarred me ever since I saw I it. I don't think I, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I didn't hear about that. Girl, he died. It was a video of him getting killed? It was a video of him, like, on the ground after he was dead. And, like, all of this was gone. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all, that's, you know, that's been sticking with me since I saw it. I'm just like, fam, like, this, this shit has got to stop. I don't know what's going to make it stop. I don't know. I don't know. Kid, they so loose with gun laws. It doesn't help. Hell, yeah. That's, that's part of it. And I hate all this, like, I hate a lot of the gun shit that's happening in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. shit, this thing like, come here and get shot or killed. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I, 
I had an ex of mine that told me a long time ago, and he was like, "Come to vac- come to Texas on vacation, <laughs> leave on probation." <laughs> <laughs> It's very, I'm not gonna say like don't come here. You're more than welcome to come. I'm just telling you, you Hell better yeah. keep your fucking head on a swivel. Hell yeah. Like it's like shit ain't like you said, shit ain't sweet out here. Like it's not. Bro, mo mo three and then Boosie almost lost his goddamn leg out here. Out Girl. here at, at the fucking big T. Girl, that's what I'm telling you. I'm just like oh, shit shit is sad, fam. Shit is sad. And then like all the stuff that's going on between them and offset and it's just like bro timing mm-hmm. and death is so final yeah and then you see people like saying like you know um you the know conspiracy? they had issues huh oh they're saying the conspiracy theories because those are definitely already out girl i saw that the girl i ain't listen i don't like listen don't you saw the one about shit. the video don't send me no shit like that. I don't. I don't like no shit like that. But, Girl, I watched it. And I was just like, hmm, points were made. <laughs> and, exactly. And anybody can connect some fucking dots. That's what. That's one thing you can make any any inference you want to and make it make sense. Like the Grim Reaper in the back and all the other shit. And I don't like her. Hey, look at the the Pentagon and all like. No. Nah, okay. So I ain't gonna lie. The one part that did low key kind of spook me was like there was a part in the video and the video got released on Monday. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Quavo says something to Offset, and then Offset looks at the ground, and he's like, me? I mean, not Offset, Takeoff. Takeoff is like, me? And Quavo's like, yeah, and then Offset just started shaking his head. And I was just like, oh, bro. All right. I, okay. I mean, I don't know, bro. I feel like conspiracy theories are what Black people do to cope. <laughs> <laughs> to make something make sense it's a coping mechanism you 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 might be right you definitely might be right because i heard the grim mechanism. reaper and uh, and all that stuff like some and i think it'd be scaring me because you you know how i get sometimes about some shit so i don't yeah, be yeah. want to you know because i i take it all the way there i could take it <laughs> i could take it up if we're gonna take it up about the conspiracy theory so i don't be want to you know read too much into stuff like that but regardless of the situation like regardless if it was uh a conspiracy theory or you know what i'm saying uh, unfor- just an unfortunate accident like I, the thing i've been saying for people is like you know telling people that you love them squash and stuff because you just never know and i'm sure no one could have ever predicted because i should i woke up and I, I don't know i woke up like super early i'm like 5 a.m and i was on twitter and i saw stuff popping up and the first thing i thought of was like damn i hope him and um uh offset okay. I hope everybody like. I hope at the end of the day, everyone was good because that's some that's some heavy shit to have on your mind, girl. When someone girl. leaves, and even Quavo, like, imagine this. We that. forget that's his nephew. Mm-hmm. There was like that. That's not like just like home. You know what I'm saying? They're not just yeah. They're they not hood family. Like they family family. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not they're my little cut. Like they related. <laughs> blood, blood, like, blood. You know. So like, imagine. You done started a whole argument, mm-hmm. and like this is this was the result of it. Like that shit is just, bro. The shit is unfair. And you know, I was talking to my uncle. Mm-hmm. You know, my uncle. You you already know how my uncle is. Mm-hmm. My uncle was like, I mean, because you know the rumor was that uh, Quavo lost a hundred thousand dollars in the dice game. And then I also read that Quavo put his chain up. I don't mm-hmm. know how true all this is. Is allegedly, y'all. Mm-hmm. But my uncle was like, why the fuck is you out there playing $100,000 on fucking dice? He was like, you should have took your ass to Oklahoma <laughs> and gone to the casino. But low key, he's not lying. And he was like, the casino will bet. They'll match whatever bet you make. And he's like, and the casino ain't going to argue with you. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, that really is true. Like, why are you niggas playing $100,000 dice games? Girl, because that's untaxed, first of all. That's that's untaxed. You don't have to write it in, in, in no government paperwork. You ain't got nobody following you and telling you about some rules and shit. Like that's the same thing. Like like dice is like a nigga activity. It's a it's a bonding activity. Like dice games, dominoes, space. Those are nigga bonding activities. Now Bro, the niggas problem, really be the getting problem hurt over is though. The problem is these super rich niggas doing around these niggas who ain't as rich. You know what I'm saying? That's the real issue. Like I, I'm not, I'm not against no dice game. I um, 
tax control. Tax like, control. hell yeah. Listen, I won, what was, I was the most I won. It's like 2000 at the casino. And they're like, do you want to text now or text it later? I'm like, well, shit. I'm going to have like take that bitch out now. <laughs> Y'all, that shit was like $1,200 <laughs> when I got it back. I'm like, God damn, I'm going to try to just kept it and figure but it out. You the were end. Safe. And you made it home. Think about it. How many times you've been to the casino? You ever seen a fight? No. <laughs> no. Nope. They'll be in there losing their last fucking dime and just be sad. That, what you gonna do? Fight the machine? You gonna That's, fight the dealer? Now, now they now they were off themselves. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't seen them like fight nobody. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like when my uncle said that, I was like, you know what, low key, he's not lying. It it makes sense, but. I just I, I don't know this, these are hood niggas and so that that's just my thing like y'all are out here y'all are moving like y'all not celebrities and like y'all aren't you know what I'm saying millionaires and like y'all I'm not because like, anything could have happened anywhere but I just feel like the person that probably shot him was probably not a millionaire and probably didn't have as much to lose as anybody else there maybe did you know what I'm saying so it's just it's very tragic and unfortunate and i and i hate too that the you know just like the narrative like that you sh that you can't do regular shit because to them that's probably regular shit i mean that probably is regular shit but at the same time something else that's regular to them is going to diddy's house but uh Pick i mean they're not far they're not far removed from dice gang that, that seemed like some real regular shit that they probably was doing when they was pop locking and dancing to Michael Jackson like that seemed like some shit they been seeing they been to some into some uh some <laughs> some some dice games like that's probably just that's regular regular shit so I could also see that like Nick niggas just want to do regular shit too I I mean a hundred thousand dollar dice game is not regular shit I'm sorry I mean <sighs> I could I could even understand like five grand like and that's and really pushing it but that that's not enough to make to make me want to stop. Better go to the casino, dog. <laughs> do they play dice in the? I don't think they play craps in the. Do they play craps? Yes, they absolutely do. They probably got different rules, though. I'm sure they, they got different rules. They, they play the same rules as in street rules. The only thing is, they got that stick <laughs> and they go grab the dice and pull it. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, like, fam, this shit is bad out here. Like, this world is wicked, and niggas is dying every day over nothing. Nothing. Like niggas is dying for free. And like them niggas, like some of y'all have solid people in y'all life. Mm -hmm. But a majority of these niggas is not going back to help your mama, help your baby, checking on your cousin, your family, mm -hmm. checking on your people, making sure they're good. Like people are forced to like pick up the pieces and figure out life. And that's the crazy thing about like grief and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when stuff happens, the world keep moving. Like, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about takeoff for probably another week. We're going to probably go to the funeral and see the things. And then the and then it's going to be another one. You know what I'm saying? God, like, God forbid, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's going to be another one over something probably even dumber. You know what I'm saying? Some dumb yeah. shit. And the, wor it, the world don't stop. Yeah. Because even if you think about, like, this whole takeoff situation, this isn't like a robbery. Mm -hmm. You know, P&B got robbed. This isn't like, this is, it's just not the situation that we're used to seeing. Like, we're used to seeing, you know, some niggas had some beef. And then it, beef, it always ends in one person being gone. Can you hear me still? Yeah, I feel like I hear an echo. I don't know if y'all hear that echo. I put my phone on the um, stand, but that's what it was. But You know what I'm saying? Look, you see what Smiley said? Mm -hmm. The little baby it is. Oh, I I feel like I feel like dice is the same thing or equivalent to um to to playing space to to playing uh what's the basketball game because they be doing shit like that a horse but betting you know ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I have not heard of a nigga playing horse. So I don't know they I don't know they call it horse. They want to. They not call it. <laughs> Like twenty one or something. I don't know. They make they may call it Infinity Links. I don't know what they call it now. <laughs> Shit, but <laughs> that's the equivalent to horse. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I, 
pickup. <laughs> yeah. Smile pickup. Smile said 21. Yeah. Oh, uh, you that one, bro. Don't, don't. I don't want to ever hear you say horse again. <laughs> wow. Mm. Damn. damn, damn, damn. <laughs> okay, but you know, like. <laughs> Wait, ain't 21 where they just get the first one to get 21 points, right? Yeah. Nigga, okay, so what, is it not called horse when they be, I mean, maybe they maybe they name it something else, but when they be shooting and having them contests and stuff, is it not horse? Suspicious. Very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. I thought niggas play horse. My bad. <laughs> okay, so all the men that are on the live, when last time you played horse, if ever? <laughs> <laughs> Not if ever. <laughs> we just need a couple. I've never heard of a nigga, be, a hood nigga, especially being like, man, I'm gonna go play horse, bro. <laughs> I've never heard of in my life, but you know, you probably played horse in high school. Uh, maybe they don't call a horse. Maybe they just call, maybe they call it something else. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, maybe they call it Infinity Links. You gonna shoot Infinity Links? <laughs> <laughs> every every inch on the court is an R N L. Like I don't know. Maybe everybody don't call it a horse. Maybe it's called something else. But I feel like niggas really be sh niggas be shooting for dollars. The shooting baskets for dollars. Hmm. Man, chill. Niggas played horse before. Niggas don't play. <laughs> all the clips too with him and you know what I'm saying like he was like I want my flowers and I'll be honest too I ain't really I, somebody kept telling me to like listen to the Infinity Millions album like it's good it's really good and I'm like I'm sure it's like another Migos album it's all right like you know what I'm saying nah, that, that shit different this shit is actually really good girl and take off mother slid. Slid. that nigga slid like slid. that nigga dance like ain't, the dark skin ain't real that nigga slid uh, all up and down the album I promise no, it should have like, been Takeoff's album. You said what? It should have just been Takeoff's album. Nigga went hard. And, and see, that's what caused the division right there. <laughs> R.I.P. Man, let me tell you something. We all know that when the three of them dropped their individual albums, we mm. all know what the best one was. Every last one of us knows that. Okay. And now I'm seeing everybody, man, you was my favorite. <laughs> why y'all just not saying it? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Explain it to me. I seen someone had posted like uh, before he had passed, he had like seven million followers, and afterwards he had like eight. And someone was like, he ain't gonna post nothing else. Why y'all following him now, bro? I've never understood that. I've never understood that. And then everybody always comments on their last photo. I ain't gonna well, lie. Sometimes I, I I've requested dead people before. Bro, so so okay, so the same question that you just asked. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> why would why why are you following a person that just passed away? Because sometimes they feel like we have they um. Hey, are you going? So you finna go to takeoff service? Huh? His service? <laughs> Did you follow takeoff? No, I didn't. I wasn't. No, I was. I don't know. I wasn't following. I, that's what I'm saying. But I follow. I follow a regular person. Okay, so 
out of the people that you followed mm -hmm. that passed away, how many other services did you go to when the family posted it? Oh, I ain't got nobody's service now. <laughs> I didn't go, I didn't, I, um. <laughs> <laughs> I've just never understood, like, following somebody um, that well, passed away. Um, so the people that I know that I follow, like their family kept posting stuff about them or, you know what I'm saying? Like their family kept post or was updating people and stuff. And it, it wasn't here, but it was something that was, that was active and, you know, they kept the page going. So like, I mean, I wouldn't have followed it if nobody else was, wasn't posting nothing, but I mean. See, I'd be wondering why doesn't the follower count do the opposite and go down? Like, why can't it be like the person passed away and it's like, all right. <laughs> that's simple I mean I, I don't understand it I would why I would do the opposite were you following him before no I wasn't following takeoff I think people just wanted to like be saying like I was following him or I fucked with him or something like that like yeah then they go with, like a bunch of pictures yeah and people I mean that's weird I guess I mean I mean I guess I'm a little weird too, but like you know, I had my but I'm, I didn't do that with no celebrity. Like I don't I don't think I followed a celebrity after they passed. I really don't understand following a celebrity. Like I've I've never understood that. P and B Follow rocks numbers went up. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can understand that. I can I can understand album streams going up. Yeah, I now that makes perfect sense. But like going to the gram, and I even understand like going to their Instagram and trying to see the last thing they posted. I mean, okay, so I mean, I can like, okay, so for instance, like Young Dolph, his his Instagram is still active. Yeah, and I know Mo, is it Mo three? I think somebody posted on Mo threes too, because they dropped them albums, the deluxe too. So I could I could see in that, like, I mean, if you want to keep up with that and stuff oh, like shit, what? I just got a citizen alert saying shooting in downtown Dallas. God damn. Alright, you better get your <laughs> so that's away from the windows. <laughs> oh, 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 I... Shit, I made me go grab mine. Look. Okay, shit. And we we only one. I promise. But so it, I said, it... Takeoff had an album in twenty eighteen and I don't think it did numbers. Sadly he needed the Quavo cosign. But did any other albums do numbers whenever they all dropped the individual? Because I remember Quavos didn't do good either. Listen, somebody, I feel weird. I, I mean, I would feel weird on following somebody dead. <laughs> I'll probably leave it there. Why? Why? Because, like, ooh, all right, that's it. You're like, it's like so finite. All right. <laughs> you have nothing to offer me. But what is getting posted? Everybody ain't going to sit there and continue to put, like, uphold yeah. someone. Because, wait, but you know what? Whenever um, King Von died, somebody kept his Instagram going too, now that I think about it. I mean, I get it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I don't get following a person that just passed away. They're not posting, fam. Yeah, or, or people associated with them. They're not really posting either. Because I don't, I mean, I think even the other Migos numbers went up too in anticipation mm. of what they would post and say and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I follow any of them now that I think about it. I'm not. I don't even think I'm following Amigos as a collective. I don't, I'm not. Yeah. But it's just, it's just really sad. And <sighs> Prayers to his family. You know what I'm saying? Like, prayers to his mama. Mm -hmm. Prayers to Quavo, Offset. It's just sad, fam. It's sad. Like, mm -hmm. we, we can't sustain like this. Damn, and you know, oh, you know what I was um thinking about too, because didn't Cardi post saying something like um our story, we're gonna tell our side of the story, something like oh, that. I, I must have missed that. I didn't see that. I that's feel, that's I, the wrong time to post it. If she did, no, this was this was right before, but it was like that takeoff's gonna talk. I don't know if it was. I don't remember who. I feel like it was Cardi though. That was like it's our turn to say what happened next, something like that. And I was like, wow, like whatever you was gonna say, you can keep it. You get like this, I don't even care what happened. Like whatever broke y'all up, she don't. The shit I'm sure seems like nothing at this moment. Man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Niggas and ego, ego and niggas. Man, that's that's a tough one though. That's that. Yo, yo, ego. 
Okay, I'm I'm doing like some work now with like you know ego and like you know what I'm saying like that shit is hard because you be like I'm I'm delusional so I be talking I sometimes <laughs> I just be like I think I'm more than what I am and so and my ego gotta be humble sometimes but that shit is hard and I can't imagine billion being a millionaire and having to check your ego when everybody tells you yes I'm sure nobody told them niggas. Like not let's just go home. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm sure nobody told them that. You know what I'm saying? Like right. no one to tell you no. What's J. Cole said something like, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, you got all this money and everybody afraid to tell you that you fucking up or something like that. Bro, oh, you know like Ooh, and the sad thing is that that's probably something that they've done a million times. You know? <sighs> The podcast drops every Friday. We just did oh, yeah. not record this Friday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look, look at it. It's real one. Real niggas oh, yeah, do real one. Real one. But All definitely, right. like like we said, prayers. Mm -hmm. Prayers to everybody. Even prayers to like everybody that was there when it happened. Like, oh, yeah, that's traumatic. It's traumatic as fuck. Like nobody, nobody should have to live like that, like with that kind of memory. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and prayer, prayers to take off. Take off didn't deserve it. At all, I, my, I, crazy. I just you know I just hope it was you know that he didn't even know anything happened, like didn't yeah. you know what I'm saying like didn't feel pain or anything like that because that's just the coroner's report I don't, and I don't even know like what the fuck we need a coroner's report for I don't bro I said the same shit what are they gonna say he that, found out he had COVID <laughs> girl and and then even did you see that the coroner released the autopsy for uh, Master P's daughter I'm like yo we don't need this. Oh, about like it was drugs in her system or something like oh, that. Oh, fentanyl. Was this recent? Yeah, she died over the summer. And they just released a report. I just re I saw the post. They just released the the like coroner's autopsy report. I'm like, bro, like, can you let families heal? <laughs> if they I, can heal, like some I, of the shit you can't heal from. I never needed to know that. Like, I I feel like they said something you know close to it anyway. But just seeing that, and for everybody to know, like somebody your demons and shit or what you were battling with that's just crazy but i feel like nigga we like what you what you gonna tell us take off hat congestive heart failure too like we know what Girl. the time of death was like that's just i don't know it was just i don't know yeah and then it just seems so like impersonal you know what i'm saying it's just like bro like i can imagine that take off probably had nieces nephews like they're probably of age to be on instagram <laughs> You know, you think about his family and stuff like they didn't deserve to like get online and see some shit like that. So how do okay? So how do you feel about like the lyrics and stuff? Because I'll be honest, I was listening to the Infinite Leaks and I was like, there were so many references to take off saying about blowing somebody's head off. Girl, I definitely noticed that too. And I was like, yeah. you know, I'm a firm believer. There's power in the tongue. Yeah, and, and words wanna... are spells. You said that everybody got on. What's that, Sabrina? Sabrina, the Glam Universe. Yeah, said something like that too. Like that, you know, that's the karma that you're putting out there. Now, granted, she said it probably that same day or the day after. So everybody's on her ass like too soon, fam. Yeah, like, yeah, calm down. But like, it is true. Like and when you think about the artists that make music about death, you know what I'm saying, or being shot or like dying or you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. that should be manifesting. Like Mo three said plenty of times about you know niggas coming to kill, like they better come kill me and all this stuff. Yeah, Dolph. Do yeah, niggas come, better come get me and just so I was I was just listening to it. And I was like, wow, that's so like. It was one song he said like blow his brains out like twice. And I was like, fuck, bro. Like and then listening back, who else was it? It was somebody. Was it King Von? Oh, girl, hell yeah. King Talking about Von, you niggas, sure. you niggas better kill me. Y'all better slide. I'm just like, girl. Bruh. Well, there was one where he said like. uh once I die, the whole hood going up and something. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, and yeah, the the numbers and stuff. And I'm just like, and I'm sure, I'm sure it did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure. Well, no, we know it did. If, it's, if like more violence happened after that. Yeah, like they even said that Houston gonna be hot for a little bit. Oh, EJ said he got a question. What's your question, EJ? Boy, you want to be. Y'all bald-headed ass want to be seen so bad. He want a podcast again. Hell yeah. Oh, I ain't even going to tell you what he texted me yesterday. <laughs> he want to be on the pod again? No, but a podcast was involved. Oh, he finna start, he finna start a podcast, a drinking podcast. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Man, well, you, you making some Thanksgiving drinks or no? You going to make me a little turkey, a, a gobble-gobble turkey, uh... 
I don't know, turkey mule? Hell, it's not a turkey mule. <laughs> what happened? Like we not here. Oh damn, yo, it started skipping. I was like, what happened? Oh, come at the text messages. Oh, okay. EJ, not okay. Question. He probably and spelling it, shit wrong. Yeah. Hey, he's gonna talk to text it real quick and make sure it's spelled right. <laughs> so check the spelling. But now I don't even know how long we've been oil shit. We joined like right at seven. A little bit after mm -hmm. seven, so I'm about to take my strawberry rice cake. How much? Uh, uh fuck. Not you gonna interrupt the takeoff talk for a rice crispy. And it's a rice crispy, not a rice cake. And Rice Krispies from two weeks ago. Nigga, if you want to throw that <laughs> shit away. I feel like it's longer than two weeks, ain't it? Is it from Baby? Yes. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, if you, if it's been wrapped up, you want to eat it, go ahead and uh, try half and then try the other half in like two hours if you ain't feeling shit. All right. We, <laughs> I thought you had a real question. Hell yeah. All right. Hey, ne next. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like we said, definitely prayers to take off and everybody involved in the family. Um, you want to do a hundred rounds on Drake? We can. Okay, hundred rounds, Drake. Mm -hmm. Aubrey. Champagne. Twenty one. White women. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no words. Girl, Drake love Drake love them women that look like his mama child. And you know what? It makes sense because they look just what's what's her name? Uh, look, Sandra. Girl, look just like her. Drake would probably like, go here and be like, "Well, I don't like you, fat bitches." <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I ain't never said nothing about you, dark black bitches. You know, even my type, bro codes. How dare you? Help. <laughs> Drake said something about like the we on a on a Zaza on a Z. He's like, you, and you probably don't know nothing about that. I'm like, shit, I don't. <laughs> what the fuck that nigga say? <laughs> he said we're talking a different language. Hey, I, I, I sure ain't doing that shit up. I mean, we on a on a y'all y'all on, on a we finna hop on a Z. I'm like, shit, that's some new shit to me. The fuck? Girl, girl, Drake love them white women, child. Girl, when he posted that girl talking about this is dumb, I'm like. Where are the other nine cents? Girl. <laughs> I'm looking for the other nine pence, Drake. Girl, because when I saw it, I said, oh, Drake, it's about 30 million of them down here. Like, I'm like, man, if you look at this Jim Carrey looking lady off my page. <laughs> <laughs> With her strong ass nose. Bruh, that white woman was not attractive. But you know what? That's not. Is that what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, <laughs> not that we mean Canadian. Girl, I was expecting a, a real dry. <laughs> what you get, EJ? But yeah, no, nah, like I was expecting like a real baddie when Drake posted, and when I saw it was not a baddie, I was disappointed. Bam! Not Drake still paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shackle, like, shackle, like, by, shackle by the the weights of white of white women, girl. But I can't blame him because his black daddy left him and his white mama stayed. And so, yeah, and and now he was around. It was his, his white aunties and his friends that look like his 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 yeah. white mama and everything. If he had been a yeah. his 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 reference in women would be a whole lot different. Girl, hello, his <laughs> hello, girl, even his baby mama. Girl. The baby mama has a strong severe. She got it. What's uh giggity? <laughs> girl, look, look just like Quagmire. She had a giggity tree and like. Girl, that's a strong. And everybody say, oh, her ass fat. I'm like, nigga, that ain't enough. Girl, ain't to these enough niggas, to it is though. To these niggas, it is. And that's really, that's really pathetic. I lost my little back leg. That's really pathetic, dog. So some of these niggas, it is. It's. It's. Um, look, that's that's a little bit. A little bit. That's all you need. It was just a little bit. He said, like, nah, she got that wagon. Damn. The fact that she is <laughs> an albino 
alabaster <laughs> assailant <laughs> is enough for me. That's it. Girl, I'm telling how, you. How, he definitely has a type. I Absolutely. How her ass is. I mean, it's, That's just, and everybody's like, oh my gosh, Adonis is so light. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> well, do y'all realize Adonis is 75% Caucasian? Why would you think Adonis wouldn't look like powder? <laughs> like, he's just a little bit more tan. He looked like brown powder, but he still looked like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's his 23 in me is crazy Scandinavian. <laughs> Bruh, like straight up the Caucasus Mountains. Straight from the Caucasus. <laughs> like, Plucked from the Caucasus Mountains. And they had the nerve to try to braid that baby hair. Girl, like him braising all, girl, his hair gonna, his, I don't think I'm fuck around, his hair gonna fall off, clean the fuck out. Girl, I know Adonis hair gotta be washed every day. Hell yeah, or else he gonna be smelling like a puppy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you gotta you gotta blow dry his hair afterwards, cause there you go. It's gonna mildew, girl. And it's girl. like Adon Adonis gets his hair wet. <laughs> yeah, he got shake and go hair. Hell yeah, real shake and go hair, not the kind we thought we had when we was gonna go natural. Yeah, nah, big fat, big fat. And then why? <laughs> I don't think he got white walker eyes, but <laughs> I mean, I'm just like y'all. This baby is this baby is more white than he is black. He almost came to nigga. I, 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 I swear to you, Adonis grow up and say, nigga, I'm on his ass. <laughs> the braids definitely max out his 25% black. Hell yeah. Now he's max it out. Yeah, he ain't got it. The, 20, the black is, look, the braids are ate up all the black. Fam, he don't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> well, the baby speaks English. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what you said he spoke French? <laughs> I, I, that is not his first language, though. Like, French is, his, I mean, but that don't mean nothing. Wait, who said French was his, not, wait, I, who said English wasn't his first language? His mama French. I could have sworn I heard that baby talk to Drake in straight English. I mean, he, he probably said, but I feel like, I feel like French was his first language. He said, Papa. <laughs> oh, he don't say daddy. He said, Papa. <laughs> he don't call Drake daddy. Yeah. It's my, it's my job, Papa. <laughs> I did. Oh, OG Fool, they said, I did not know that yeah. French was that baby's first language. Yeah, so, uh, so I mean, low key, that nigga might not be able to say nigga. <laughs> nigga, you French. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, either way, fam. Either, either way. way. That's and you know, Drake, baby mama used to be a porn star. Child, they don't, they don't wipe all that shit. I tried to go look the other day. Don't ask me why. I was telling somebody. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, they wiped the internet of all her flicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you can't find flicks. shit on that. Yeah, you can't find shit on that lady. He's been Creole. <laughs> Uh hi. Bro, I'm fucking crying, dog. Yeah, I'm, fucking I'm, I'm crying. sure you, you can find it somewhere. I'm sure you look. I'm pretty sure it's on Twitter somewhere, but they don't have to clean her image up. And yeah. even her, like, fam, she's a busty woman, so I don't care how you dress her up. You put her on some clothes. She, she looked like. I mean, no matter how much you try to school teacher her nanny, she girl very busty. And we might look at the end it and come right, right back so we can finish out. Well, why don't we just see if it'll stop? Yeah, and or or the kid. Yeah, hell yeah, Reddit, Reddit is the place to go. And baby, let me tell you, ha! Huh, Twitter got that porn. Like Twitter got that Girl. porn. Fam, I follow a. Uh, it's a page. It's called Amazing Nut Videos. Oh, and I'm all of it, more. <laughs> well, well, since we're here, all of it is all. It's just a videos of niggas nothing. That's it. Like it's. Mm. Yeah. It'd be nice, pretty penises, and it just, you know, ejaculation station. There we are, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Next up. Next up. Choo, choo. <laughs> <laughs> but fam, you can find, like, fam, you want to find that shit? Get your ass on Twitter. And I'm sure. Oh, shit. Maybe I need to look for her there. Yeah, I'm sure. Drake, baby, baby. <laughs> XXX. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm going to come back. No, don't leave. Don't leave, OG. Don't leave, OG. Come back. <laughs> but no, uh, it's not, I follow lots of uh, OnlyFans.
fangirls on uh Twitter too, cause they be they be really, really say content there first. Damn. So you you could just see all your all your favorites on there. Girl, speaking of porn, so did you hear about Drake being on Howard Stern? I mean, uh, thirty minutes ago when you told me, <laughs> but before they know. <laughs> so okay, y'all. Apparently, Drake was on Howard Stern, mm-hmm. and Howard Stern had asked him, like, "Hey, what's your favorite porn category?" And you, bruh, you know Drake be putting on his. Lo- I still to this day, I feel like we don't really know what Drake sounds like. Drake don't even know what he sound like. That part, like yeah. Drake be putting on an American accent, a Jamaican mm-hmm. accent, a Canadian accent. The nigga's the like- black Chet Hanks. <laughs> The half black check Hanks, like <laughs> the nigga speaks speaks patois. He That's had, what I'm saying. He had he had a Nigerian accent, girl. He had a New Orleans accent. The nigga girl. is the nigga had a my uh, a Memphis accent. <laughs> a real chameleon. A real you, chameleon. You <laughs> think? He's a real chameleon. But whenever they asked him, he was like, "I love tops." And, and I didn't like, get that when you said it, but that's like a very southern like slang term too. When I heard tops, I immediately thought of top. topping. But no, I I'm like I want some top. Like I when I had to think of it like I had to think of a nigga, hood nigga saying I want some, give me some top. I'm like oh okay that makes sense. But when you look at Drake, you see hood nigga and you nope. decipher in hood nigga. Nope. Uh, well, when I see Aubrey, I'm thinking definitely he want to be topped. But I I wouldn't think Drake would say no shit like that. So I wouldn't think that nigga would be like you know what I'm saying. But I did. Yeah. I was like top. I think we're like top. But I guess my mind was just like my first definition of top is like topping, topping. And mm-hmm. then I was like, oh, he's talking about head. Mm-hmm. But Drake admitted that like he watched porn every day. And that's not and that's that's regular nigga behavior. Niggas be watching porn. But remember when Cortez was on. And we were saying niggas would ride around with the screens in the car. Hell yeah. With porn <laughs> he said, I'm Drake show this dark side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not Drake showed his dark side. Girl. Now he really showed the dark side whenever he started posting on Instagram. And I said this to y'all. I said, the fuck is Drake posting? Girl, and didn't and delete it. Porn. Didn't delete it. Did you notice? What what's the one thing you noticed? In the anime porn. They were white. Yup. I mm. said, boy, that nigga like white women, even cartoons. Even on Asians. He like them white. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a big thing, too. Like, white me on skin or Asians. So he like his Asians even white. Girl, I was just like, not right. Just, yeah. Posted white anime. Girl, hell yeah. It's not about, <laughs> I'm sorry, daddy. I'm like, Goodbye, this I have. Husband. This, huh? Should have a goodbye husband or some shit like that. I was like, this ha- I mean, I, I'm trying to figure out what song that has anything to do with it because I've listened to the album several times. Carl, same, same. <laughs> Drake just wanted to reason to be nasty. I was just like, not Drake just letting loose on the gram. I, I'm like, this is so unlike him. Girl, very much unlike him. Like the same nigga who used to not say, the same nigga who was hiding his kid from the world. But not hiding the world from his kid. Sandra's Rose. <laughs> not Marvin's room <laughs> girl I'm just like not best I ever had hell yeah busting busting I'm just like and, and, and anime cartoon porn like I'm not mad at the anime cause that's a whole genre I'm I'm really mad at the like you said the, before the, the I don't want to see Marge Simpson and Lois Lane busting an open fam you feel me I don't want to see that oh, shit. I don't want, fam. Why? Why does Stewie have a ten-inch cock? Girl, <laughs> why does the dog? Louis, Stewie got cock. Why is Stewie and Brian running a train on me? Girl, like that, that's the shit that be throwing me off. Like <laughs> y'all, y'all the niggas. That y'all the reason why they got rid of Cartoon Network. <laughs> Cause y'all, made cur- y'all, y'all had curves over there fucking Eustace. Come on, hell now. yeah. Cause y'all wanna see that shit. Nasty. Hell yeah, because we can watch regular cartoons without seeing the powder, the powder puff girls in the fucking threesome. Girl, <laughs> powder puff girls flying with their titties out. <laughs> <laughs> the caption: Watch these with their sugar and spice. <laughs> and XXX. Watch these sisters. Sugar, spice, and big cock. <laughs> Peg from 
Mo Mojo got JoJo. Giving him some dick. <laughs> and I was like, what the? Bro, I'm telling you, like, shit just got, it be getting, that's a dark side for real. Hell yeah. Bam, Loki on me clicking on flicks and stuff, and that should be coming up. I don't even want to watch the flick no more, because I, I don't want to see this shit. That's not, that's not what I came here for. Girl, I ain't come here for that, and I also didn't come here for uh, 12 sexy women within one mile radius. Hell yeah. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Answer, answer the right phone. Now. Nina wants to talk to you. Bruh, I told you though, my favorite is the fucking comment section on the flicks. I fucking, I fucking love that shit, dog. Anybody else read the comments? I started reading the comments for sure. And and the comments will kind of tell you a little bit about before you even need to click on the video. I promise. They'll That's be like, ooh, I, I want that. I want a big cock like that. Hell yeah. I have a nice bum hole ready for you. Come fill me up. Especially when, yeah. when, a, nigga, when a nigga get on there flirting with you. Oh. Yeah. Some fire. It's some fire for sure. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. Because we watch the flicks. That's why we know the ass. Niggas ain't oh, nothing absolutely. wants to be nasty. OG know the ass too. Okay then. You know you know what the fuck be going on. You you see them girls that uh they got the machines getting pounded out. <laughs> <laughs> she over there pounding herself out. Hell yeah, over there, uh, ruining her own walls. Girl, yeah, no, nah, for real, dog. Like, I love the comment section on fucking flicks, bro. I be reading it. Well, I go to a video and I see like 21 comments. I go, oh, let me see what they talking about. <laughs> Girl. Girl. And you said Drake watch porn every day? Every day, fam. You think he's jacking off every day? Yeah. I don't know, but Drake looks like a hard nigga to please, dog. Like, Drake looks like you you want to do a handstand and all sorts of shit. You look no. like you might have to go without breath for about a minute and a half. You feel like you had, let me see you eat your own coochie. Yeah, you might have to swim underwater. You go put your head in the sink full of water. Hell yeah, see how long you can make you take water tests and shit, waterboard your ass to see how long you can the water. He might put his boot on the back of your head. Like. Hell yeah, I can definitely see Drake stepping on your neck. <laughs> I can just it just seems like it's just gonna be some really intense shit. I'm just gonna be like, fam, like, can, can this just be over? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm done. Please stop, <laughs> Drake. No fact. We could probably go an hour and a half. Like, come in, come on, man. Too long. Yeah, he probably go an hour and a half because he beat his meat all day. <laughs> beat his meat. <laughs> Choke his chicken, whatever you want to be called. I, I really do feel like a lot of niggas watch porn. I, I think I know. I feel like I know niggas that watch porn every day, and it's not like it don't disrupt shit. So, I mean, I don't know, bro. Would you date a nigga who watch porn every day? It depends. Are you bothering me every time you watching porn? Because sometimes that could be a that could be a private thing. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather a nigga try to you know jack off in private. Yeah, I don't have to be involved in that. You could like go in the bathroom and and tug it out. I don't have to. I really don't even want to know about it. Me either, unless like unless it's like a shared thing and like we you know doing it together. But girl, if I roll over and a nigga just beating his meat on the phone, I'm just like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not you roll over, not you wake up in the middle of the night, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just wanking his eyes, like, bro. Like, I I don't know, cause cause niggas will feel a, a certain type of way if you woke up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> No, I just don't feel some type of way if you roll over and pull out your vibrator. Yeah, facts. Every day. They gonna feel this just like, damn, I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gonna feel some type of way. Like, sometimes those could be very private, intimate things that I don't have to in be untruth intrusive if I'm like, go handle that. I don't mind. Um, I, th I wouldn't mind if he told me every day or if he, like, like if he jacked me up and was looking in my eyes every day, I'd be like, bro. <laughs> every day. Okay, how many times a day would you be okay with him jacking off? Right. <laughs> Bruh, if a nigga did that, I'd be like, get your weird ass away. <laughs> Period. You see, OG said, I'm not jacking off if a woman is in the bed. Yeah, it just seems almost kind of disrespectful. Yeah, for real. Y'all gotta be big mad. They be big mad when you, when you don't like that. They feel uh like they can be replaced. Yeah, like the, the toy doing better than them. And it can be. <laughs> and more than likely it is. But you I like to do you don't jiggle like that. Hell yeah. I need both of y'all, though. <laughs> y'all a team, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> team hey, but, uh, yeah, that was Drake. 
I, I feel okay. Seven times. Did oh no. Okay, so I okay, so when I was on Twitter, right? And it'd it be the places too. I see this nigga jack off in the gym. And like just let it, shit go everywhere. He needs to be arrested. How, you know how mad I'll be if I sat down and lift weights and I'm and I'm and I fall on the nigga's cum or Bruh. the thing is <laughs> the thing is wet. <laughs> Bam. And it's like Niggas be nasty, dog. Hell yeah. And niggas really need to be arrested. Yeah, with the jail mentality they have, go back to where y'all need to go to. Yeah, like, Jack and <laughs> What's that? Now, what's that girl that'll be, uh, dang, what's that girl? And she'd be like, uh, in her front seat. And she'd be, the whole thing be wet. Wait, Miss, B, Miss B, uh, something. Fam, she be in, she be parking in parks and shit in her, in her car and going to town. Shit be everywhere. I'm just like, bro, I hope it's not a rental because that's gonna charge your ass. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna take the fuck car. out your ass. They gonna charge you some post for it to attack the fuck out your ass. Probably ain't even a rental. It's probably churro. Be nasty. They're like, Miss be, be nasty. Some, somebody gonna tell me who she is in a little bit. Oh, bro, that's some nasty shit, dog. That's too much. There we see what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Christina, I feel like I've seen him post about her. So, oh, you must speak about her before. Well, now she done squirted all over the car. Hell yeah, squirted. Bam. And, it, and there wasn't no like regular squirt. You know, that it's squirt. Hell, it wasn't a regular squirt. This was like, it's like her water broke over the seat. <laughs> it was a lot. That's intense. It was very intense. I was like, ain't no, ain't no way. You, and how the fuck do you drive home and your ass stick it to the seat like that? Girl. I do some research. <laughs> she been doing it. That's why. Hell yeah, she been a real one, a true one. Yeah, nah, I don't know if I could be with a nigga that wanted to, like, jack off every day. Uh, only way I'd be okay with that is, like, if he was, like, making money off of it. Like, if he was, like, an OnlyFans dude, I mean, I'm okay, gonna go to work. I don't mind a nigga jacking off every day, because I do something every day. Wait, what? I do something <laughs> every day. Oh, okay, okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a nigga like doing something every day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fam, jacking off, that's wild, dog. How? What's the difference between jacking off? What's it? It's masturbation. Bruh, but like, I feel like if a nigga is jacking off like multiple times a day, then you can't tell me that that nigga's not gonna like graduate. And then we hear videos about like people who be on Zoom calls and they jack off. Like, bruh, I'm telling you. Fam, like, I ain't yeah. never pulled out my rose in a Zoom meeting. What the fuck? Yeah, but you. It, there are it, people who will. Sam, it it ain't graduated. I I I come at least once a day. So every so day. You saying you jack off every day? I don't jack off, but I do something every day. Yes. So you uh you tug your kitty every day. I beat my cat like a flourishing map every single day. You fucking right. Yes, I do. <laughs> Bruh, yes, not I do. every day. Every day. <laughs> every. <laughs> Every day. Bruh, B, you been to prison? <laughs> no, I ain't been to prison. You need to bridge yourself on them shackles, child. Bro, I'm not people, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with masturbation. It's like, I smoke every day. But, okay, I'm not saying that there's something wrong with masturbation. What I'm saying is, like, if masturbation is getting in between you and your daily function, no, I still, I you still, have a problem. And that's what, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, a nigga who jack off at night to wind down, what's the difference between a nigga jacking off at night? <laughs> <I'm a choke. laughs> it's like a nightcap. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't have no problem with a little nightcap, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool, but if but definitely if it like stops you from like doing shit, you can't like if you jacking off in the car at work or you jacking off, you know what I'm saying? Brother, you can't tell me a nigga who jacks off. You think you think a nigga who jack off multiple times a day is only jacking off at home? I didn't say multiple times a day. You I, I said, said a nigga was jacking off in the gym. I, I well well that was his thing, <laughs> but I'm saying like at least once a day. I don't think there's anything wrong with jacking off at least once a day. No, nah, I understand jacking off once a day. I'm talking about people who are jacking off multiple times. Oh, well, like what Dom said, seven? Oh, that's excessive. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're, you you're can't tell me. Places. You're not doing all seven at home. Oh, no, you're going to be in a school zone. <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> you definitely got from the school zone, fam. And that's why I said these niggas need to be arrested. Don't dudes lose testosterone after ejaculation? I I don't know. I would imagine. I, I mean, that's what I think. Niggas be like boxers and shit not to like fight and stuff because you know they yeah. they lose their power. So I can see. Hell yeah, that post nut clarity. And low key, I I masturbate before big decisions because I feel like you think more clearly. <laughs> Like especially like if I if I if I like feel like if I wanna mess with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I go in here, I handle business. And then afterwards I'd be like, do I still really want to or am I lonely? I was just lonely. I d I don't need to. Rose got Rose got me right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I don't need to go in and burn myself no no more no no more with this this okay. nigga. You ain't got a shade for the rose. <laughs> Hell yeah, the rose don't and listen. <laughs> rose takes you as you are. You ain't gotta take no shower for the rose. The rose, yeah, the rose is like the church. Come, come to the altar as you are. Damn, bro, I don't know if you should have made that comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying the rose don't care. Every God time I get in the like, shower, mm -hmm. I jack off. Wow. You know, I'm not mad at the shower jack off. I'm not mad at that. I'm not either. Oh. 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 Yeah, I do. Ooh. Girl, I love some Dom, child. Ooh, child. Getting spicy yeah. on her tonight. Like. You know, I ain't mad at it. Uh, let's finish talking about Drake so we can get to these hear you, hear you's real quick. Oh, yeah. So, yeah we went down uh, a dark, uh, rabbit hole about porn and everything else. Ooh, uh, the so thing good. I wanted to contribute to the whole Drake conversation is that I felt like while well, I was talking about the album earlier and just ever said fuck 21 and everybody else because they be saying <laughs> stuff, I actually really, really liked the album. But I feel like Drake was very, very light skinned. Like he was very, very messy boots. Definitely very was. messy boots. And I don't, <laughs> I don't, and that's what it is. And, you know, and, and I was like thinking, I was like, Drake has all this money and the nigga's still lame. Girl, I, you know, I've been said it, fam. All the money is still years lame. Years ago, I see straight through Drake. Mm. All that nice guy shit, that is a lame ass nigga in a cape, fam. Mm -hmm. That lame. is a lame. Look, it's not dark skin. And, and why would you even put that on him? Being a, a, a member of the. Um, not the Meg. It's, it's not even the Meg shit. It's the shots that he took. The Meg shit, the Kanye shit, the. Uh, the Ice Spice. The Ice Spice shit, the Dram shit. Dram don't bother nobody, and you did steal Hotline Blank from him, nigga. You owe him some duckets, actually. Hmm. And see, I I listen, Dom. I don't even like he was speaking. Of, like I feel like he fucked with Drake, but I feel like pussy. Yeah, he, it'll go to anybody. Spicy because we ain't like the last album. I think and he said something. That's the, the mulatto. <laughs> real lotto. That's the real lotto right there. Oh, yeah. I, and I was just like the um, uh, what else did he say? He was talking. He was talking cash shit on there, and I was like, "Oh, so we're in a husband called Stray." I'm like, "What did he do, oh, girl?" I said, that, "But you remember Drake was trying to date Serena. Remember that, girl?" But she's married and have a child. Let it go. Ohana ain't bothered. No, her name Ohana. Girl, her name Olympia. No, nah, what's the what's the man name? Ohana. Oh, I think that's uh, Alexis or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got a computer right here. Just a second. <laughs> where I, I get Ohana like from? <laughs> I don't know where you got that either. Serena Williams, husband. Mm -hmm. Alexis Ohani. So okay, right. it was it, it was somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. How can I, okay, you have to say Ice Spice is trash. I got one too, but she make bobs and people that like Ugh. listen to bobs like her. It ain't for everybody. And she be speaking facts. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Mm -hmm. uh, you thought I was feeling you? Lit, if the party's not lit, I'd rather not go. Why would I go? You thought I was feeling you? That nigga munch. Nigga, he ate it, he ate it for lunch. I mean, she nigga ain't lying. 
nigga munch. Nigga crunchy munch. Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. He said she sound like ass. Okay. I don't want to trip about Ohana. <laughs> Wait, where is that? I mean, I, I'll, 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 who lied? We're not, we're not going to do no Meg slander. Bitch, I'm a baddie. I do what I want. Okay. Period. And she do. And, and we don't care. And obviously she didn't care that when she went to go see Drake, you know what I'm saying? Um, that he unfollowed her afterwards. She still got a trip with Drake. But you know, the rumor is that, you know, Drake tried to, and to be Ice, a month. Spice, Ice Spice wasn't having it. Ice Spice, look, Ice Spice looked like she will step all over a lame. And, and it's certain women that niggas like Drake have to go after because Ice Spice is one of them hood bitches. She see through that lame shit. She, nigga, yeah, she'll expose same. all that lame shit. And that's probably why he unfollowed her because he's like, nigga, you a real lame. You a real life munch. Everybody don't know. Like, you real pussy. Like, she can see straight through that shit. And that's probably what it is. He's scared she gonna get exposed. What about Serena? Serena? What's Serena lie about? What's she lie about? The Meg shit was weird to bring up. Yeah, all of it was just strange. Like, the I don't know why the baby talking about he fucked Meg the day before, and then here goes straight, and then it's just like, bro, why are we doing this? What's wrong what? with Ice Spice 22? First of all, Drake, Drake ain't, uh, Drake is very well known to holler at somebody's hey. on 18. That don't mean shit. Wasn't Drake texting an uh, old girl from Stranger Things? 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11 while she was 11 <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah. yeah you know and I'm still that whole what's that verse in Jaded where he's like uh, you're young what's that one Drake verse I had texted to y'all and I was like y'all I listened to this song and this shit's actually really strange let me find it Ooh, I love oh, it. but you're still right a baby here. yeah you're still a baby let me see <laughs> Drake is a wild man Huh? Pretty little young thing had a nigga convinced, got me too excited. Like it was some other shit he said in this song. Let me find it. Uh, we could have waited. I wasn't rushing. Difference in ages. You're old enough, but you're still a baby. I feel you like shared that- stories where you did amazing. He, she probably shared stories about her track meet <laughs> or her first time. <laughs> Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't take it as underage. He said you're old enough, which, which to me says seventeen in Texas or eighteen in New York. It, to <laughs> me, like, sounds like nigga love come, at, come in Texas. I could have put you somewhere where no one could find you until you turn eighteen, bitch. But in Texas, it's legal at seventeen. <laughs> Drake ain't <switch. laughs> I'm not making Drake R. Kelly. I'm just telling you. I listened to the song and I was like, this is fucking weird. I immediately text y'all. I was just like, bro, I don't think I really listened to this song when I heard it the first time. I don't get R. Kelly vibes from it, but I definitely get like a 40-year-old. Fuck- I get a 40-year-old fucking with an 18-year-old. I get that too, for sure. Yeah, I get a, I, I get a, a 40-year-old fucking with an 18-year-old, something like yeah, that. Yeah, Georgia Smith? Hell yeah. He definitely, said he, he definitely slipped up and said he was dating SZA uh, in 2013. And SZA had to come on in there and say, well, his math is a little off. Aye, okay. Scissor trying to say today. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Aye>, Drizzy. <laughs> no, Aye, right. Drizzy. We building the case. Not I kill the princess. <laughs> Damn, but you know what though? No, you know what? That will be the thing, and niggas be like, "Well, the nigga is talented, though." Girl, of course, niggas. What's this? I mean, them girls lie to him. Huh? They're gonna be like, man, that nigga made YOLO. <laughs> that nigga made Marvin's room. Hell yeah. That's a fact. Oh yeah, he definitely wants the upper hand. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Because women like Ice Spicy clear through him as young as she is. Ice Spicy Ice Spice is 22, but I know she's been on a track. So she's damn near 32 mentally. So Girl. she see clear through all that shit. She probably see mm-hmm. big trick vibes. And yep. she probably was like, buy me something. She probably was on the, on that shit with him and he's like, whoa. Yeah. No, he probably was like, yeah, no. He probably bought it. Drake don't give me, he get, he don't give me the type that he'll like argue with you if you say you want something. He'll, he'll get it and then uh, erase you. Now he Walk wants you. Something. No, he'll get it and now he wants some, he wants some top. He'll get it with like, a uh, note, note, note in there and said, uh, <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Take care. Uh, XOXO. 
Hell no. Nah. Drake will get it for you, and now you sucking dick until your nose bleed. Care take, take care until you care taken. <laughs> Head ass. Head motherfucking ass. Well, I don't know. I feel like this shit was real corny. Um, I'm glad 21 kept that auto way player. 20, I like 21 a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? The illusion of we're not together, but you, you know we fucking around. Yeah, facts. And you bitches know you better not. Don't and even try and it. You, and, you niggas, you, and you niggas know I'm going to press you about it behind the scenes. Facts. Big facts. Because we ain't making no scene over here. But I love the fact They're that really they... really cute. Hell yeah. And that, you know, she... The, the, what she said, the biggest or something like that? Big facts. What's that going to be explained? <laughs> you think Drake will holler? Nah. Hell no. Over. Glorilla. Glorilla would definitely pull Drake's chain too. Like none none of none of the slum the slime glitter gloss. Drake is better luck. Better better <laughs> yet taking that loss, goddamn me. Cause he ain't get none of them. They coming up off all that top. Hell no. <laughs> Give me top until you're dead. <laughs> hell, hell yeah. <laughs> now that's Glorilla talking to Drake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hell yeah. yeah. Go nigga. Uh, uh. Go, Let's nigga. go. Hell <laughs> <laughs> nah. To the R, to the A, K, Drake, hey, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not give me top until you're dead. <laughs> Bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, nah, Drake would, I don't think Drake would try to talk to Glorilla. Mm -hmm. And Glorilla ain't going. <laughs> she ain't going for it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure her inbox is lit up, boy. Hell yeah. Gorilla gotta, Gorilla gotta get an inbox from a request. It's gonna be in the request folder. It's gonna be from a nigga in jail. Hell y'all about to say, her, her, nigga, her nigga probably uh, getting released in 2024. Yeah, it's like something that's like, she still got time, but it ain't too far away. Hell yeah, it ain't it ain't too serious, but she knows she, she better not do nothing because he'll knock her head between the chips and the dip. So she don't trip <laughs> out too much, but she, she damn, not why is it going out to lose there? <laughs> Cause that nigga. Wait, her nigga. Her nigga. She absorbed his vibes. Ooh, that's a good one. Nikki even got angry since she been with that nigga. Damn. Mm -hmm. Damn. They done turned into one one big angry person. She was one before, but I, I mean, I think national credit that we see. Yeah, no. Nah. Like it's given, definitely given like big old bully. Not gonna lie. Did you see their little Halloween pictures that you can see his ankle monitor in them jeans? Nikki took the photos down. I bet she did. I don't be noticing shit like that, and I probably should. Yeah, but I probably should. Right. What were they, the Incredibles or something? Or what were they? No, it was like, honey, we shrunk, honey, we blew up the kid or some shit. We, we made the kid big. I don't, honey, we shrunk ourselves. H honey, some we shrunk, shit. honey, we blew up Papa Bear. Yeah, it was something like that, and you could see his damn ankle monitor. I was like, oh, oh. So let me and no one could have took that out before. Nigga, I could have edited that off of Canva. Girl. Girl. No, that's what be happening. See, that would be happening when y'all be forgetting y'all be with hood niggas. And for you know what I'm saying? You see the you see the ankle monitor every day, you forget that everybody else ain't used to that shit. Hell yeah, big facts. So someone so you posted it. Uh, I will say this though. Real quick, going back to Meg, because everyone was talking about like, oh, poor Meg, she always getting dragged and shit. Did you see Jonathan? Jonathan posted a messy comment. He's like, this why you need this why you need me back, friend. No, he did not. It was something along those lines, like you need a real friend in your life or something. You need me back, friend. And I was like, you know what though? Jonathan probably would have her front and her back. Girl, you saw what he did for Asian doll. Shit. What he do? Uh, whenever Asian doll was getting that fight, Jonathan went there and cleared that bitch out. Oh yeah. You saw her uh, mugshot though? Uh, girl, bad as fuck. But I'm like, now I know she ain't doing this for no goddamn speeding tickets, Miss Sharon. Girl, I said the same Not shit. Not Miss Sharon said, for goddamn speeding tickets and, and no, no license. license. Niggas love driving dirty, boy. With no, y'all niggas know it's only twenty seven dollars to get a license. Fam, it ain't. It ain't it, it's not the money because niggas will pay for a license. Niggas don't want to sit it's through a, a class because you know you got to sit through that class. And you, you got to take that driving class. Niggas don't like making appointments for nothing. So you making a person, You said what? It'd be the surcharges. The It'd surcharges be the surcharges, be niggas, don't like, niggas don't like making appointments. So you gotta you gotta go to DPS and make an appointment. And if it's not the same day, niggas don't even be waiting to get their hair cut. If it's not the same day appointment, they don't want it. So you know the DPS appointment's like a month away, two months away. Nah. No. Niggas gotta grow up. Yeah, she from Dallas. Yeah, she from Dallas. But hey. yeah, niggas don't niggas don't niggas don't wanna make appointments. Not Asian Dallas lost. She gonna be found. She is. Oh. She lost. She's <laughs> 
She from Dallas. She Rudy. She go to <laughs> Vic T. I'm gonna get cutie. Boy, uh, Rudy, you know what? She probably do eat Rudy's and it probably got her blood pressure real high. No, probably she probably... Real... Nah, she probably say, fuck Rudy, house. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm a house. Give me house chicken. I'm that. a house, bitch. With Hell the yeah. with the spicy sprinkles. Not the spicy sprinkles. Oh, that was type of season they had in there. I don't know. Then one failed to test in public, I promise. I don't know. What oh, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. That's all that's I have. It. All right. So we do have a couple of hear ye hear ye's as a church. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that would be so damn funny. Okay. Uh, fuck. Rudy's <laughs> Chicken. It's a big chicken spot down here in Dallas in the hood. Mm hmm. Everybody does. Do you, have a, do you like Rudy's or Williams? I don't like either one. I'm a Big Mama's kind of girl. I like Big Mama. Chicken? Big Mama's got good chicken. Yes, absolutely. I've never well, I've chicken. had it um with the waffles, but I just didn't know. Oh. It's good. You no, like no, really, no, really I was really the, the pork chop Big Mama's. I know the chicken good. Ooh, the pork chop fire. Pork chop is fire. Okay, so here's mm -hmm. the first question. Um, <clears throat> my boyfriend. <laughs> Y'all pop out and shit, cool. <laughs> yeah, Williams is disgusting. I ain't never heard of Miss Do Miss Dottie's that was out here. Or was it? Oh no, Dottie's Cajun boy. They used to have a fire ass Cajun all you can eat brunch. Where was that at? It was in Capel. Hmm. Not like anything over Williams. Yeah, Williams is ill. Williams be big as your fucking head. We'll just hit a miss. They they got some good ass Kool Aid though. Okay, so my boyfriend is uh she's thirty two, he's thirty three. Posted me and deleted me off Instagram. Last time my boyfriend posted a picture <laughs> posted a picture on Instagram and I was in the background. I commented on the picture when I woke up this morning. He had deleted the full post. That would have been the first thing regarding me. He's posted on Instagram. I don't know what to make of this. At oh shit, don't. Oh shit! Stop screen move. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it, as everything else he posts remains there. I wouldn't be so bothered, but he follows certain girls. I'd rather wish he didn't. And now, look at this as if he's wanting to appear single. Is this normal? And what do I do? I went with y'all to Miss Dotties. Yeah, you, it's called Do. It was called Dotties. D o d i e s. I should. Was it pre kids? Oh yeah, this was a long time ago. We went there. Bye, OG. Next next time, you definitely join in the live. Oh, I don't think he was leaving. He just said, <laughs> "Oh, I'm having fun, y'all." I thought he said he's gone. My bad. Uh, he said, "Huh?" Oh, he said, "What?" Y'all yeah, be reading quick sometimes. Um. So, question. Uh, yeah, no. Fuck that. I would ask him why he deleted it. Yeah, why you delete the whole post? He was afraid like, somebody was gonna tell him he hit her. You said what? He was afraid one of his homeboys was gonna come in there and say that's my old work. <laughs> no, but like, okay, so post you post he posted a picture and then you commented on it. It's probably a comment that reason he deleted it. Damn. Oh, because the nigga didn't want nobody to know who it was. Just see her. Hell yeah, just just to be seen and not, you know, be tagged. Because niggas love Posting people not tagging him. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, what, how would you feel if, like, your man posted you for Don't your post birthday and then he deleted it? <laughs> and he deleted it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he getting slumped. What the fuck? Why would you delete a birthday post? <laughs> if you're going to post it just to delete it, don't even post it. Yeah, I agree. That's weird. That's very weird. Like, no, don't, don't post his old work suck. I mean, his if he had any hoes, they could probably hop in the comments too. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. Like, if 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 the she said some girls are following that, he rather not. So he probably following his exes and somebody or somebody he not done fucking with. Yeah, he nobody to know. Oh, gee, that's terrible. Somebody I did that before. <laughs> you delete terrible. the whole post. Fam, what I can't stand though is like a when a nigga make a post and then you had the bitch underneath want to be like extra saying like. I remember, like, when I was over your house the other day, and I started, like, girl, if you don't calm your ass down, like, you ain't, like, 
We ain't got, like, you just want to make yourself sing so bad that, no, that somebody know that you fuck with this nigga. Girl, I wouldn't even be arguing over no nigga like that. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't got it in me no more to be. I'm not arguing either. I'm, but I, but it's so I, I funny. I would she can have him. I'm not finna do none of that, but I just be, like, I be knowing who niggas be fucking with based on what I be saying. I be like, oh, yeah, okay. In my hard eyes. Hey, because at one time I say, I was on Twitter and somebody had commented on somebody's birthday and like had wrote baby or something and they took that shit that like they deleted it or hit it niggas behind shit and i'd be oh, like yeah. it's say 14 comments but i only see 12. <laughs> not you counting <laughs> yeah real bad <laughs> real bad uh, i was dealing with childish women i had the last uh, laugh damn imagine nigga tell you happy birthday and then take that shit back that's crazy to me like the, I, y'all already know how I feel. I don't. I'm. I'm not posting no nigga. Any any nigga I post on my page, he is a friend, and I have not fucked him. I guarantee you that. So if you see hmm. a nigga and then he posted on my page, head, come find me. Somebody kidnapped me. Somebody stole me. Like <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I ho- hopefully I get to a point where I, would, I wouldn't mind posting a nigga, but they hit. They owe work. They all that nigga hit. They owe. Well, old bad work, not for real. Niggas don't be wanting nobody to know who they hit, and they still follow. Girl, she probably ain't gonna be that cute. And, and bitches it, be screaming all that bad bitch shit. Y'all don't really be fucking with bad bitches. And be with That's bitches real. that look bad. And be with bitches that are bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all really don't. Yeah. Y'all follow them. Girl, do they? They be they be fucking with who fuck with them? Yeah, big thing. And that's okay too. It's okay, just fuck with. I don't know. That's that's weird. I, honestly, if I would, I would tell him. I honest, I probably would unfriend him because uh, unfriend him and undate him. Because nigga, first of all, it's one thing to be like you know keep our relationship. You know, it's one thing to not post some shit, but now you being mm-hmm. sneaky, and that's yeah, why now you being weird. Yeah, I don't fuck with the weird shit. Like we are posting each other on on Instagram and stuff. That is cool. I don't mind that. Our business is our business. But now you have you, you trying to not you trying to drink me, nigga. Yeah, no. Now you being weird. You trying to drink me? About me? You said one what? Thing about me? I said one thing about me. I do not fuck with weird shit. I do. The nigga got one time to show me some weird shit, and I'd be like, time to go. I do not fuck with weird shit. Once niggas start acting weird, mm-mm. and you and you know too. Yes, I'm super cool. I don't want nothing to do with no, because I'm not weird. So I'll be damn from deal. With, I'm a deal with weird. Hell yeah, some weird, up. some like why? <laughs> why would I choose if I'm already chose? Like I don't have to deal with no weird, weird ass shit. Yeah, niggas will hit. Niggas hit will hit Quagmire, girl. And not only hit them, hit them raw and get them pregnant. Niggas though, niggas will raw dog anything, boy. Just for the chance to go raw. And then, and then be surprised when somebody get pregnant. Girl, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, I don't. That's that's the weird shit. Um, he did it because he being sneaky. He tried to hide some shit. There's no other way around it. He definitely is trying to hide some shit. Whether he hiding you <laughs> from somebody or somebody from you. Damn, bro. What? Oh, she said women with big booties have Patrick Ewing face. I said that. Said I said I said bitches who have uh, oatmeal pie stomachs have big ass booties. Girl, and and niggas don't care. Niggas, as long as you have a fat ass and a wet hole, niggas do not care. Girl, some don't even care what the hole is. You said where the hole is? Some people don't care where the hole is or which hole it is. Twenty one say I heard you on your period, babe. But can you suck it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a hole. Girl, <laughs> I'm telling you for real. That's oh, crazy. All right, we have one more. We're gonna hop off. <laughs> Care. Yeah, y'all don't care. <laughs> y'all don't care at all. Oh my I'm, God. Glad, I'm glad some of the brethren is admitting it that y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Facts. Don't give a damn. Because like, y'all, y'all know when niggas, I know, be like, who? Girl, I know nigga. every time we talk about this girl, how much this girl stank, how bad, how bad, how bad her coochie stank, and how, you know what I'm saying? But was over there and, and had a baby Hitting with her. Hitting it raw. Hitting it raw. And then, like, he was just like, man, I know it's thing, but her pussy's so good. I just, I don't even care. Niggas, oh. you say, I, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you got some, uh, some Han- Andre Harrells in your goddamn box, <laughs> <laughs> too. That's your life to see. I know you got some Dapper Dance somewhere that you don't want nobody to see. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got some bitches who look like Deaf or Dan that you don't know nobody to see, and it's oh, okay. Oh, bro. It is okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Okay, so we have one more here. You hear? I didn't read through the whole thing. Hell yeah! <laughs> OG Foulay, if I find out you have a white bitch like Patrick Ewing, we're gonna fight, fam. Because I just think so much more than you. Bro, so okay, much I ain't more. gonna lie to you. If I find out there's a white woman at all, I might be on your ass, dog. I, I expect better from you. That's, that's a little bit. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at you. I'm... Right. Yeah. I, I, I don't I'm know about your co host. Stumbled upon your podcast through shorts and reels oh, or whatever. Thank called. you. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, we God. never really go live. <laughs> <laughs> you might just, hey, hey, just sit this out for like, because look, you, you Malcolm X in my head. Don't take my image now. Man. Don't take my image now. You Don't be no though. Martin, because you know they said Martin first love was a white woman. Oh, oh my gosh. And it, to Martin. <laughs> I, so I don't know what that means. I don't even know where DC is, honestly. <laughs> but don't, don't ever say that again. <laughs> oh, okay, you say you never touched a white woman. Whew. All right, cool. I, don't, I know DC is somewhere up north, right? It's on the east coast. <laughs> How can I lose my writing shows? <laughs> All you gotta do is bend over. <laughs> Hell yeah. Flash titty, like K. Michelle. Girl, okay. Okay. Um, okay. I've been with my girlfriend for five years. We are high school sweethearts, and these past three years have been nothing but great, and our relationship continues to be great. I love her to death, and there's no uh, no better person I could spend the rest of my life with. But What's I have the idea? urge to sleep with other women, and to be quite honest, I don't want to live the rest of my life holding this feeling in. She oh, gives me shit. all the love that I need, all the attention I need, and has always satisfied me. But I still have the urge to explore other bodies. So she ain't giving you all the love. She ain't giving you all the nothing there. This is my love relationship, my most intimate relationship. I know that if I end this, I will never find someone like her ever again. I just don't get it. Why do I want to spend the rest of my life with her, but definitely want to sleep with other women? I've read up on this idea that love and sex are two different things. <laughs> and... <laughs> And because of it, couples will go to an open relationship. I don't know how realistic and how successful this actually is. Some insight would be great. Other than that, what are you guys' thoughts and opinion? And what would you advise I do? Break up, like everybody Break else said. Hell yeah. The reason is because y'all y'all are high school sweethearts, so you don't know what else is out there. Yeah, you comfortable. And it's nothing. But you want to go see. And it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with like finding a perfect person, but like wanting to, you know, it's it like. Imagine if I had spent my whole life eating Big Mamas. But I see Popeyes, and Popeyes look good and they smell good, but oh, right. no, I've been with Big Mamas too long. I've been with Big Mamas five years. Fast, yeah. Bam. Yeah, and it, don't, and it, don't, it don't, don't make you bad, it don't make her bad, and it don't make y'all bad. But it, it does speak to comfortability and the need to mm -hmm. like, feel like you have to be monogamous. Like, maybe she's doing the same thing too, though. Yeah, I agree. And like even like OG said, there's no perfect person. So if he'll he'll never if he's looking for perfection, he'll never find that. Like he'll never quench that thirst. Mm -hmm. He and, never will. And like Nick, I feel like niggas know when they have a good thing too. Like you, you clearly know mm -hmm. you got a good thing going on over here, and you don't want to mess it up. Yeah, you just want to see if there's any other things out there. And I'm I'm gonna it, yes, other pussy, and it's you know what? It's probably pussy that's better than hers. It's probably hair that's better than your, hers. It's dick that's better than yours for sure. And I was about to say, it goes both as ways. Well too. It goes both ways. But I don't know. I don't think it's anything wrong with wanting to explore. But niggas have this thing about sex and love being different. And it, it mm. can be. Mm -hmm. But for some like for some people, especially so in a, in a monogamous, not way with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, <please. laughs> yeah, it's oh it's coochies that do it's it's coochies that do a lot more things out here. Be it's be nasty coochies out here. You feel me? Like it's some different types of coochies out here. Yeah. But some things override sex. And I think because you guys are still fairly young too, that I don't know if that may be the thing. Yeah. 
But talk to a 30 year old nigga and they'll be like, man, I don't even want to have sex every day. I want peace. <laughs> Hell yeah, I want quiet. Hell yeah, want nigga, quiet. Hit nigga hit 30, 35, 40. They don't be want to have sex every day. Like, they don't even be something they just be wanting to have anymore. You grow out of, hopefully, I mean, you grow out of that shit. Yeah. But, like, when the fuck all the time, like, niggas love to keep me tired. Like, nigga, when you, like, you, it sounds good to come home and get some head, you know what I'm saying? But niggas be like, damn, give me 10 minutes. Niggas be tired. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, y'all niggas, niggas be like, all right, all right, not now. I'm going on somewhere. They start flapping their dick around, ain't responding. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's, he's tired too. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. Like, hey, that's so I don't know. I, I, I don't like humans. I feel you on that. Look, I think if you're feeling this overwhelming feeling and you know your partner isn't receptive, then you probably may need to take a break. Um, I don't think a break is fair, though, to the other person, especially if they're going to keep hanging on. So break up with them. Yeah. You come out Monday. <laughs> okay, with your hand in your pants. Hell yeah. Al didn't want to fuck no more. Peg, damn near jump on Al Bones. And you know what? Yeah. They couldn't play this shit nowadays because Peg low key sexually harassed Al Bundy. Hell yeah. You ain't lying, bro. We was watching some really wicked television. <laughs> Hell yeah. We was, we was watching rape culture. Hell yeah, for real. Peg was over there jumping on Al's Bones and, and Al was saying no. And Al ain't never said yeah. <laughs> oh, she said fuck consent. Hell yeah. I mean, like, you're gonna, especially too, if you, like, this person is a monogamous person and then you fuck up the bond that y'all have because even with anything you do, open relationship, uh, <laughs> open relationship, poly relationship, those shits mean nothing if the nigga has no discipline. Yeah, facts. Like, if a nigga is, has no moral, have no morality about him, none of that shit, none of these standards you set for him are gonna work. You can give a nigga an open relationship and he's still gonna fuck up. You can say, we're gonna have an open relationship but don't get my pregnant or don't have no raw sex. And nigga come back and bring you the clap and a baby from somewhere girl, else. Girl. Like, if the nigga don't have no character, no morals, it don't matter what y'all set up. Mm -hmm. Regardless of y'all be poly and all that stuff. So, I mean, I would I will probably first have a conversation with her because she may be feeling the same thing. Like, y'all yeah. be thinking women don't want to some women don't want to fuck nobody else, but so y'all gonna get some, some do. Right? Some someone wants some over <laughs> dick, and so she might want some coochie. You never know. It's a it's a whole new world. Hell yeah! And and lot and what a lot of these niggas who be poly be like it was her idea. So yeah, at, it's her you idea. After you put in her head, after you done subconsciously told her about eating pussy you know. thirty six times. After you subconsciously told her how you want to fuck somebody else. Hell yeah! But you don't want to cheat. We, we ain't gonna act like we ain't see Princess up there. Yeah, you know, sometimes I thought that it would be better if her, instead of him doing it behind my back, I join him. Yeah, and that, and that a nigga doing stuff and not and not including you. Yeah, thanks. Now he's dancing on your back. No, it's not it's not wrong with women who love coochie. That's I know plenty of women who love coochie. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. The thing that the, the thing we've always been saying is as long as you love coochie for yourself. Yeah. As long as you've tried like like Jesus, as long as you try it for yourself, you know. And I'm with that. So as long as you tried coochie before <laughs> and you feel like coochie is for you, that's fine. But well, don't let no nigga coerce you into eating coochie because Princess, I'm sure, regrets eating coochie with her nigga. Because right. he didn't stop him from cheating. For real. Or doing her dirty. Now, now don't you dare call her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you right about that. You still unsure? Well, yeah. It's women I love who I love coochie. Who love coochie. She, won't, she won't tell you. Oh. Maybe she don't like coochie then. Y'all be thinking everybody like coochie too. And some people don't like coochie. I give off big, big, I give off, I don't give off big stuff. <laughs> I just shared my truth with y'all. You said what? He said, I just shared my truth with y'all. <laughs> I know, I give off big stuff energy sometimes. I know I do. I've had, I say that. oh, I've had people tell me like, you give out big, I know I give out big energy, but I've never had a cooch in my face and have indulged. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people don't. I mean, some women want to eat coochie with just women. Like, they don't necessarily want a man want a nigga to there. Want a, yeah. want a nigga gawking with his dick out. Yeah. <laughs> trying to like, give her instructions on shit. Hell yeah, like, some women just want to scissor in peace. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't care about a nigga being involved. Hell yeah, because sometimes it's for them. Yeah, for real. 
Like me eating coochie ain't for you, nigga. It ain't for your enjoyment. I like eating coochie. That's why I'm here. Thanks. I'm here because I want to be here. And you're not here because you're not. Hell yeah, you weren't invited. This is this is a, <laughs> mm -hmm. for a real. party. Yeah, for real. Some women just that's what they want. Like mm. you said, ain't, ain't shit wrong with eating coochie. That's for damn sure. If that's what you want to do, I mean by all means. Either way. Man, munch. <laughs> Ah, not much. Crunch and much, bitch. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. It's your thing, baby. It's your world. Hell yeah. Handsome and show is quiet. the fake dick. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Uh, I hear you hear you. The done is about that time. <laughs> yeah, man. I got to go finish some shit, y'all. Thank y'all for joining our live. This was actually goddamn almost a, a real life episode. Hell yeah, almost two hours, fam. Hell yeah. So we're gonna record. We're, I don't. We're gonna figure out how to save the audio and then upload it. So this is gonna be our episode. We're not sure how we're gonna do next week. We might have to do this thing, run it back again. You know, based on schedule and shit like that. But thank you guys for joining us in the conversation. We love all the feedback, everything like that. Y'all know where to find us. Goddamn me, look up at the top if y'all don't know. Goddamn, I think y'all do know. Hear you podcast on all social media platforms. Y'all can find us at hear you podcast at gmail dot com on the website at hear you podcast. I ain't gonna fuck it up right here. Uh huh. Yeah, on the I see you. I see you child. And y'all can find me. Goddamn, right here at the top. Who that underscore breezy b r e e z y? And where can they find you, at, boss? And of course, y'all can find me on Instagram. What we on right now at Tana Taught You. That's T A N N A H Taught You. Love you, OG. Love you guys. Love y'all. So See y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, let me end the shit. God damn it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.